Brother Kalfani Mwamba, thank you so much for joining me here for Like Fine Wine, Black Joy Over Time. Hey. This is a project of Joyful Practices, my uh, life coaching business, uh, my actual joy actualization coaching business. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for being here with me today. I first remember hearing your name when I was eight or nine. Okay. <laughs> Yesterday or the day before? Yeah, yesterday, the day before, <laughs> okay. right? No, okay. eight or nine was about 34 years ago. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So okay, you, you are one of the esteemed elders that I consider as uh, folks who raised me, mm. folks who were a part of the community, a safe person, mm. um, someone that, you know, throughout my lifetime, I have been able to come to for advice or guidance around things. And um, I want to take this opportunity to thank you for all the ways that you've contributed to my life wow. and to this community mm -hmm. and to my age mates who grew up under your guidance. Wow, wow. So, what a, wow. Uh, that's powerful. And uh, of course, I'm. Uh, 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 it, it's joyous inspiration. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. Thank you so much. Well, um, I want to invite you to share with uh, the community, how you've experienced joy over your lifetime. Can you share a time from your childhood that you experienced joy? I I can. Uh, the, so I'm blessed. I just need to be really clear about that. I'm a, just a uh, just a super blessed man. Uh, I have um, so much joy in my life, and really, while I may have uh, at at at, at birth and and with uh, uh with my early uh upbringing as i navigated relating to others with uh with with the experience of having eczema beyond as a part of that not beyond it but as a part of that um i have been nurtured and uh just given oh my god i i, I don't have long episodes of my life where i did not experience joy Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm, I'm that blessed. Mm. I'm that blessed. And um, so it has been my, I've perceived that uh, I, it's always been my understanding that yeah, I have to share that. Uh, and that too is part of my joy. So what I would, if I could put this conversation to a theme, uh, it would be I'm excited uh, and joyous about BPC and of course, in this community, uh, BPC is Black Prisoners Conference, uh, Black Prisoners Congress, uh, and uh, and I, that's while I I despise the racism that requires that that group exists, mm -hmm. I am joyous that they do, and so in partial celebration of of their contribution to our uh, uh, community regionally, uh, I I put BPC and I I, I attach it to an acronym with additional meaning, uh, and that's a black positive communication. Mm -hmm. And I uh, am, am, am built, uh, if, if I were to kind of say that that's kind of, it feels to me like that's kind of the running theme of joy in my life, mm -hmm. is black uh, positive communication. Mm -hmm. uh, I, was, I, was, I was brought up in uh, places where I heard it around the dinner table, Mm -hmm. uh, I was uh, in l later in life. I uh, 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 my 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 mom sewed my first dashiki, hey. uh, and so I remember that as a uh, as a and I can even look. I have the image of the picture. Funny thing, it was a, the first dashiki I remember wearing uh, was in the uh, colors and the fabric design of the uh, British Union Jack flag. Whoa. <laughs> I know. So, so I don't know what my mom was thinking. Oh, uh, you know, what that message that she wanted me to convey, you know, as I was moving through community at that time. Uh, but uh, but that was, uh, cause, but that was like, you know, I was about four or five. Well, I would have had to have been at least, yeah, four, four or five. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I remember that, and uh, that would be an expression of black positive communication, and uh, from a very early age, and then up, uh, you know, coming up, 
uh, into uh, 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 emerging adulthood. I uh, was fortunate to uh, come in contact with the drum and I encountered my, my encounter where I've had this lifelong love of rhythm and uh, access to it. And it started out with the uh, African-American invention of the trap set, which, in a, which is a contraction of the word uh, contraption. So it was uh, when the, uh, uh, when the uh, armies of the, uh, uh, in the in and after the Confederate uh, rebellion, uh, as the armies disbanded, the bands of the armies uh, contracted, and so the drums uh, became, were consolidated in and around what is now Louisiana, and the Africans, uh, you know, established the base, and they would kick it, and then they had the uh, there was a snare, and they would, and then they find they'd find a cymbal and brushes. So this thing called jazz brushes are really Africans. You taking tying straws together, yeah. uh, and and uh, and then making sense of of that so that you could strike. Uh, the contraption or the drum, what is now called a drum set. So I, I came in contact wow. with that, and, uh, and when I was an emerging adult around the age of 12, um, and uh, then uh, moving on, uh, and st kind of stayed with that for a while, uh, and, and had a nice, rich confrontation with my black identity, uh, th really throughout my life, but there's some certain key flashpoints. And, um, and, and then I did, it came in contact with uh, the power of black speech as uh, black positive communication mm -hmm. uh, in, uh, in meeting uh, and these amazing, uh, loquacious uh, uh, people, Mari Evans, the poet, and uh, Maulana Karenga, and uh, Kwame Ture, and uh, was, uh, 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 Obata Shaka was fortunate to, to meet these people uh, in, in nationally, internationally, and then locally, of course, uh, uh, um, uh, Mama Karimu White and, and uh, Baba uh, Omari Tahir, and um, uh, we, ma we talked about uh, uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Zakia Wanatabi Stewart. These, uh, and, uh, these, so these folks brought me up and, and, and nurtured me. Uh, and so uh, that has been another uh, encounter with black positive communication. And mm -hmm. then uh, in the course of that, then I, uh, in raising children, I then encountered uh, uh, the classical African music mm -hmm. and came to love that. And, mm -hmm. uh, and, and so that's an, found that as another expression of black uh, positive communication. And, and uh, perhaps we'll get a chance to, uh, touch some of those rhythms here before the, before our conversation is mm -hmm. over, and then uh, last thing I would well, not the last but another encounter of black positive communication I would I would I would want to raise uh, and call forth is uh, I, I, in re kind of redesigning my uh, professional self I returned to the academy uh, and but not just any academy I was fortunate to be able to go. Uh, to the Black Academy of the uh, uh, Evergreen uh, State College in Tacoma. Dr. Mims was still very much present, or very present. Dr. Mims is present to, to this she moment. She's very She's present. She's right here. <laughs> uh, 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 and then uh, but at, at that time when I was there uh, in the early 2000s, or mid to yeah, early 2000s, um, then uh, the leadership was uh, uh, Dr. Joy Hardiman, and uh, so uh, Dr. Joy urged me to explore black communication, specifically mm -hmm. uh, speech, return to the, the, the beauty of black speech. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I, I got a chance to encounter that. And then that took me to the combination of the music and, and the global uh, uh, bl uh, black speech brought me to other uh, forms of communication, which of course is uh, fabric and, and uh and, and attire, and then lo and behold, I realized, oh my goodness, everything we do is communication. Mm -hmm. So even gesture, and there's nonverbal communication, and right now we're going back and forth and yeah. uh, communicating uh, subtly as well, Im implicitly as well as explicitly through speech. So there's, I, I'm, I'm a, yeah. uh, I, I just, my joy is the joy, power, and uh, 
insight, uh, uh, and elegance associated with black positive communication. Mm -hmm. Wow. I have so many questions. Again, I've known you since I was about nine, right? Okay. And so when I think back on my life in Seattle and my interactions with you, there are a couple of key places that come up. Um, and one was uh, in my like late teens, early 20s, when I was doing Pan-Africanist organizing and you were doing the same. Mm -hmm. And um, your organization was doing some really important work, not just in the African community, but also with um, with Native tribes. Oh, here. yes, okay. And I just remember you saying, no, you know, our struggles are, are linked. Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so that is something that I've held in my heart and has been mm -hmm. really helpful for me in my development mm -hmm. because I believed it and I saw you doing it. Mm -hmm. And I never, I don't think I've ever said, you know, yeah, I love that you did that. Um, I love that you did that work. And also <laughs> one of your other one of your many gifts is um around naming ceremonies and traditions okay. and, and traditional uh African traditions of naming. Yes. Yeah. And so when I changed my name from the name that my mother gave me, uh -huh. I got very specific instructions from you. I was to find a name that I enjoyed. I was to find a meaning that was relative, relevant to me. Hey. And then I was to identify the language and the people that it came from and find someone from that culture to get actual context for the name. Woo. Now, brother, did I do any of those things? Woo. <laughs> I, I, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I did not. And okay. so, you know, I chose three beautiful names, Nakala, Mizan, Ayela, hey. uh, and... um. I, well, I was pronouncing it Ayele for a very long time. All right. But, and um, Ayele means something very different than Ayela. Uh -huh. yes. And Ayela means powerful. Ayele mm. means the world is hard. Mm. And you would name your child that if you were betrayed in, um, while you were carrying your baby. Oh. <laughs> and so it's kind of like the world is hard and people are not to be trusted. Mm. And so I just, I when I think about my name, I always think about what you told me and how I did not listen. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. And, okay. And how, you know, people ask me about my name and it's, it's a long story because, you know, and, you know, yeah. And then Nakala could actually be Portuguese. I may have swapped one European name for another because I didn't okay. find the context. Uh -huh. Right. And so I think that that is another like life lesson that I've learned from you is about understanding the context of a thing. And it, that goes yes. along with that black positive communication. Yeah. I would invite you to take heart and just continue mm -hmm. studying. I love mm -hmm. So what I'm hearing when, when you say that mm -hmm. you, uh, so, and this is, you, so one gift you have given yourself, is you are a worthy subject. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so what I hear as you share this narrative is that you are driven. You are internally directed mm -hmm. and driven. And yeah. so uh, you're going to find out for yourself <laughs> what, what, needs, what needs to happen. Okay? Yeah. Here's the sure. good news about that. Though. Yeah. It's a journey. Right. It's a journey and the journey's not over. And yeah. I will maybe I will invite you to focus not focus less on the when it comes to your name to mm -hmm. the extent that your name continues to be part of your journey. Focus less uh on the spelling of it mm -hmm. and it's and the etymology of that spelling, mm -hmm. the word origins of that spelling. Okay, that's useful. That's one branch. That's one way. But also attend to the sounds. Mm -hmm. And when you attend to the sounds, I will speculate. You will find those sounds having deep meaning, not in one part of the African world, but in mm -hmm. many parts. Right. And right. because, to your point, we're all connected. Right. When I took on uh, the responsibility of my African mm. name, I was fortunate to have the elders in my uh, 
prayer in my they were available to me mentoring me who were trustworthy mm -hmm. trustworthy mm -hmm. where i just didn't have to think would did they have my you know interest in my did they know me yeah Could, to, so when i so i was fortunate to be able to say to invite the, some of the people that name uh uh, 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 Baba Omari Tahir, Mama uh, Karimu White, and um, uh, Mama Afua Koma, uh, and and asked them if they would find the name for me. Mm. If they would name me, and I was fortunate to receive that at nineteen. Now it's so fascinating. The 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 Pacific Northwest and specifically King County, Seattle. King County was King County named for a former enslaver, not Martin Luther King County. Whoa. <laughs> so, whoa, so, whoa. So, so, so that was a change, right? So the King County that we live in now is not the King County that whoa. I changed my name in. Okay? So I thought, so me, <laughs> I thought that it was always King County, but they were just like, there was a movement to like make sure that everybody knew that it was Martin Luther King. Not that it actually wasn't. No, there was That's a, no, crazy. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. There was a time, King County, the, the King County was initially named after uh, an advocate of the uh, 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 one who was more aligned with the uh, Confederate slaveocracy than abolition democracy. And the movement was to switch that narrative. Wow. And that's what some of our other community elders and custodians initiated. Wow. And uh, successfully and rightly. Uh, so the, I say that to say that the that there have been some developments and the world continues to uh, move and, and, and morph. And so the, we, we as in, the, in the Seattle where I changed my name, there was not this strong continental African presence that there is now. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so the word Kalfani was very unusual at that time. Now yeah. it's not. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and so and now then people come and ask me is it Kalfani or is it Kalfani? What is it? <laughs> and that that that's a new but that's right. part of the black world. I say all that to say yeah. that in in the through the power of uh, black positive communication, mm -hmm. you're going to find iterations of the sounds of your name mm -hmm. throughout the black world. Yeah. So in listening to you talk about black positive communication. What's really present for me is that words give you a lot of joy and sound, vibration gives you a lot of joy. Oh yes. Oh and yes. I hadn't and 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 in 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 uh so I am a student of linguistics. I don't mm -hmm. I have not formally studied linguistics. Um but they will the part of the terminology from linguistics, they will talk about phonemes and morphemes, uh little pieces of speech like mm. f and p and b and mm -hmm. k, like the or er mm. or, or na mm. ka la yeah. they, so those are those are different elements sub yeah pieces of of uh of speech but you i hadn't until you just said it kind of noticed that oh those yes those are vibrations right mm -hmm. i hadn't quite made that connection so thank yeah. you for that yeah, and just, you know, bringing up that uh, textiles and music, like they're all forms of communication. And, um, and that's really powerful because um, we know that we document things and, and we document them in the ways that we do. And sometimes it's, it's an oral history and sometimes it's the pattern woven into fabric. Sometimes it is the colors that are used or the symbols that are used and all of that stuff. So um, that has been really powerful for me to understand as, you know, as a black woman at this age, like there are so many ways to, that we commun that are specific to, to our culture that oh. we communicate. Oh. Oh yes, 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 and it's uh, so that's part of its power is that uh, black positive communication is ubiquitous wherever there are uh, black folks, and what's so fa part of the the power is both its explicit power and its implicit power. There's there's um, there's d it, there there are uniquenesses, uh, particularly at the that are that are explicit and then there's 
even greater black uh, unity that is implicit. And what I mean by that is uh, the way that uh, a, 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 a midlife uh, black man in Georgia will dress up looks a lot to me like the way a midlife black man dresses in the Congo mm. and mm -hmm. dresses up in the Congo. And so it's really fascinating. Like there's, there's like, there's uh, clubs of black male fashion mm -hmm. in the South and in the Congo. Yeah. <laughs> and so yeah. it's like, it's like, it right. just blows me away how African black is. Yeah. And how black African is. Yeah. It just I I just I trip off that. That yeah. is a that is a that is a source of joy. So tell me this. So I you know, I one of the things that I notice about my own joy and also in the work that I do is that sometimes folks um have a hard time identifying how joy feels in their body or like and so like I wonder like how do you ever do you ever take a step back and say I am really experiencing joy right now and like how do you know for yourself when that's happening okay um <laughs> so you brought up a lot there and um that uh oh wow so I want to I please remember the question because okay. I need to I need to address what came up for me as okay. you shared that. Okay. That isn't that that is connected, but but distinct. Um. So the disconnection, or the unfamiliarity, that people experience, or the uncertainty that people experience, uh, or disconnection, disconnection that people experience between an experience and their cognition about that experience mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um so you know i am professionally trained as a therapist uh, in the state of washington i'm a mental health professional so um that is deeply concerning to me uh uh and, and because it's so prevalent mm -hmm, the, mm -hmm. that disconnection and uh that's very much that's very much a very tragic tragic uh expression uh, 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 and, and, and outcome of our interaction with, uh, uh, with, with white supremacy culture and, uh, where, 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 where that derives, that is linked substantially to this notion, cogito ergo sum, uh, right? This, I think, therefore I am, mm -hmm. right? And so this notion that, um, that the, the privileging of, what is above the head, mm. what is above the neck, mm -hmm. i.e. the brain, yeah. ostensibly, and very metaphorically, because the brain is intimately connected to emotion and, mm. uh, and, uh, and, and feeling and sentiment. Um, we don't get those things without a brain. Right. So U.S. national culture and now global, U.S. global culture, what it tends to do is privilege thought. Yeah. And um, and and to the to the extent that it can dis, it 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 encourages dis, yeah. disconnection of of mind body spirit yeah when all are one right and uh, so um, it's in in human form and so whenever we notice a disconnection mm -hmm. between uh, mind body and spirit we want to. We want to address that. We yeah. want to go to work on that immediately. Yeah, that's an that's an emergency. Yeah, yeah. That that's that's a that's a personal. In fact, it's an interpersonal emergency mm. because not only are you in danger, everybody around you is in danger. And so, one of the you know classical notions of of classical uh, African spirituality is 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 bringing these things together, mm -hmm. bringing thought, uh, uh, cognition. Uh, emotion and sensation into harmony mm -hmm. and uh and into purpose and and that's uh that's a that's a that's a that's a significant priority and so we want to 
uh, we want to we want to recognize that as an interpersonal emergency, that dis disconnection, and and go to work on it. Now you asked me a question about that. Yeah. <laughs> that remind yeah. me of the question. The question was, how do you know when you're experiencing joy? Oh, when you're okay. in your joy. Uh, well, I first of all, I know. I'm, I'm for, so here's another one of my blessings, right? One of my mm. blessings is, uh, you know, you know, I'm 61, mm. and so I have lived been been blessed to live long enough to know what is uh distasteful and 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 and, and negative mm -hmm. uh, uh uh for me yeah. and and those whom I uh uh care about and the community and the people and uh the the uh, the the experience the ex the, the glo global experience of people in the global experience that I'm having um uh, I, you know, I, ha I have a good idea um, of what is not good. And I get to work, yeah. part of my journey is to minimize the, that that's not good and, and maximize what's good. Yeah. And there are times, and I've been, oh, here's another blessing. I'm fortunate to be, to have b been brought through spirit, been brought to a a kind of a joyous connection where where the some of the many of the things that I that bring me joy bring others joy mm, mm -hmm. and uh, so when I uh, experience the rhythm uh, I create I'm I, I love the experience I love experiencing rhythms that others create mm -hmm. I love experiencing rhythms I'm fortunate to be able to co-create and uh, that's certainly, I mean, I'm almost, now there, the, the learning, the gap between, say, my capacity and ability and, and you know, what skills I bring to the table, and then where I see some other cats and, 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 and brothers and sisters and where they are and mm -hmm. their ability and when they're trying to teach me and I'm not getting it. Now, that is a can be like not joyous, but <laughs> I know I'm on my way right to a, to a, to the opportunity for a joyous experience. Yeah. Same way when I'm uh, when I'm uh, you know if I'm experiencing the power of black written communication, mm -hmm. right? If I'm uh, uh, into the work of George G M James of Stolen Legacy, or if I'm into the work of uh, of, of Chancellor Williams uh, and the, uh, the 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 recreation. Of African civilization, or if I'm mm -hmm. in the uh, experience of, uh, uh, if I'm in the experience of uh, 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 Malefi Asante Afrocentricity, or uh, uh, Malana Karenga on Kwanzaa, or uh, if, uh, if I'm uh, experiencing uh, a speech by uh, uh, Angela Davis, when I'm in exper experiencing that uh, joy, that those aspects of of, of black positive communication. Oh, I'm really close to joy there. And, um, and, and, and then, um, just seeing others, uh, thrive is also, I, I, I'm for, I'm smart enough to keep myself close to, uh, other black people who have skills I don't mm. and, uh, mm -hmm. are, and I get to see them shine. I get yeah. to see them be excellent. Yeah. Uh, that's a truly joyous experience. Um, and, you know, get to grow as a result of that and sometimes find harmony and able, I'm sometimes able to contribute to that. So that's, uh, that's also, so that's the outer experience. Oh, there's an inner aspect to joy. Mm -hmm. And so just, so in fact, there's an inner aspect to all things human uh, and all things living. There's an inner aspect and an outer aspect. And so the question has to be uh, more fully, can only be more fully answered if I also acknowledge that I do attend to uh, my inner experience mm -hmm. of joy. If I'm moving, mm -hmm. I'm probably closer to joy. Mm -hmm. um, if, uh, if, I'm, uh, if other people, as a result of what I'm doing, are doing well, I'm closer to joy. And yet I will know that because I will know uh, what's happening in my uh, body is, asso is associating itself with that, yeah. with that joy. I'm even now, um, 
I'm, 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 I'm energized. I'm, I don't feel jumpy, but I feel giddy. Yeah. And, yeah. um, uh, so there's, uh, that's, uh, and, and that's a part of, so I got to I'm pretty close to joy right now because yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm having this inner experience of yeah. what joy, uh, what I, you know, what I've come, what my, I've come to associate joy, how I've come to associate joy in my body. That's awesome. Thank you so much. So what advice would you give like to the greater community and like specifically to children? So it's kind of like two part about joy. Mm. Mm. Well, what age children? Because uh, uh, that, that would vary. I uh, feel like whatever age speaks to you, mm, you know, like, okay. when, yeah. Like if you, I know if I were going to answer that question, I would think about like, as a teenager, because I feel like I, okay. I, but you know, it's not for everybody. Some people experience less joy as small children, but as a small child, I was, you know, whatever. But like, I would be talking to my fifteen-year-old self. Right, right. Where, where, where one is clear that they have some agency, but they're also experiencing a great deal of dependency. Sometimes more dependency than they are comfortable with, mm-hmm. and uh, or and unfortunately, sometimes it's good for them. Uh, uh, to that emerging adult. Um, I'm interested in supporting them locating their power. Mm. Uh, I really want now that's the case throughout the lifespan, but but I I uh, and I want them to understand so that to the inner experience, I want them to understand that that their brain and body is under a uh, the most unique period of change and dynamism and well-being physiologically mm. that they will ever have. Wow. So I want them to know that. That's a lot of power. <laughs> it's a lot of power. <laughs> yes, I want them to know that. And that that they are uh, they they are and that and that it might feel wobbly wonky and, and parts of the parts of the uh body are are uneven and and, and feeling uh unfamiliar. Uh, and that's perfect because that's right what's supposed to be happening. Yeah. And that it's okay. And yeah. that they are okay. Yeah. And that uh, that they uh, and if they will continue to listen, use uh, their agency to find trustworthy others, mm-hmm. and um, and that 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 that, that speak to that show, that demonstrate with their behavior, mm-hmm. uh, A, their trustworthiness, B, their, uh, their connection to some part of the world that that young person wants to connect with. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, fine, but be, but be flexible and don't, don't attach too quickly. Don't yeah. attach, uh, you know, attach carefully, cautiously. In fact, yeah, that attaches probably a strong, stronger word than I want. Connect, maybe. connect. Thank you. Yeah, uh, yeah, connect. Uh, uh, you know, slowly, carefully, uh, and and uh, and intentionally. Yeah. Uh, with the elements of uh, uh, trustworthy others who are a bit ahead of them, and maybe a long ways ahead of them. Uh, ideally, there's a nice age span of of difference in their life that can support their quest yeah. to locate their power. Yes. Oh, that's so beautiful. Brother Kalfani, thank you so much for coming to be with us today. And I understand that there's some sharing, some additional sharing that you want to do on, on the drum. Okay. So, yeah. We, the, I'm thrilled to move to the rhythm. I wonder if you'll help me with some of the rhythm. Sure. Okay. All okay. right. Let's Great. get it. Great. 